Hey everyone, today we're staying at the Doubletree Hilton Osaka Castle, a fantastic hotel with an incredible location right next to Osaka Castle and Park. Opened very recently in May 2024, this modern hotel offers not only great views of the iconic Osaka Castle, but also convenient access to several cultural and historic sites right around the corner. With three train stations just a five minute walk away, getting around Osaka is super easy and Osaka station itself is only a 10 to 15 minute train ride away. When I arrived I took the lift up to the lobby and I was welcomed with that signature warm double tree cookie. I had a very quick and smooth check-in and to my delight I was upgraded to a castle view room. On the way up I noticed the ice room and even more importantly I saw what the other view would have been which is totally acceptable. This is an amazing view in itself. So I wonder what the castle view is like. Anyway, off to check it out. Here we are in the Doubletree Osaka Castle. Brand new Doubletree Hilton Hotel. Straight away upgrade thanks to the Hilton Diamond member and uh, so far I have to say it looks amazing look at this little wet chamber little shower room very cool and you can see everything is absolutely pristine let's check out this little separate toilet separate shower Apparently, I was upgraded to a castle view, so let's see what castle view means now. Coming into the room itself, you can see the Grand King bed. This was really comfortable. I always love Hilton beds, but this one, being so new, was absolutely perfect. The pillows were so fluffy. There's just something nice about staying in a new hotel. Look at this. Beautiful. This place is beautiful. It is absolutely spotless and super clean, super modern. That's exactly what I like. Look at this massive back panel. Look at this full back panel. And next to each side, there were the light controls, a USB C port, and a power socket. Again, no international socket, just a Japanese one. Opposite the bed, there was a TV, a fridge, a kettle and a coffee machine with all the free amenities. There's also a little table with two chairs so two people can really sit down and enjoy. But what we really want to see is the view. And here it is, Osaka Castle in all its glory. Now this video obviously doesn't do it much justice. I promise you when the sun is out, it looks spectacular. In fact, just wait until you see it at breakfast. Really a very special view to have and perhaps worth coming to stay in this area rather in the central area of Osaka but then again it's just a 15 minute train ride so there's not much to complain about all in all this is a really nice room but this hotel also has an executive lounge so I went upstairs to check it out before it got busy during the day you can get some free drinks and it's actually completely empty but wait until it gets later in the evening and this place is absolutely packed of course the seats near the windows get taken first here you can have a look. It's quite a lot of space actually. Really surprising for a double tree lounge. Really perfect actually, you can't complain. Now of course, look at that view. This is the reason you come and enjoy this hotel. Sit in this executive lounge, have your free Prosecco in the evenings, have a chat. And especially at night, the castle gets lit up with various colors. Truly a beautiful sight. Now, we cannot compare this to the Hilton Lounge or the Conrad Lounge, of course, but when it comes to the food and drinks that I'll show you in a bit, because this is, after all, a double tree. But the fact that there is an executive lounge at all is very impressive. Throughout the day, you can get some soft drinks, quite a small selection, as you see here and also some tea and coffee facilities are available too. You can have some juice and some water as well, but that's it until evening time. Coffee machine looks very impressive actually, but I don't drink coffee, so I'm not sure if that's a good machine or not. 
but it does look uh, very fancy, let's put it that way. Now here's a look at the food. There is a selection of stuff, yes, but most of it is more like, you know, nibbles and uh, finger food perhaps. They did have some taco rice, which I thought was perhaps the only real warm food that was worth eating. And uh, here you can see the selection of drinks. I was really surprised. They had uh, some Prosecco, I believe, or Champagne, not quite sure. And yeah, all in all, fantastic place to hang out. This hotel also has a swimming pool and a gym. Here you can see the locker area. You can dry your hair and, uh, you know, do whatever you need to do. After and before showering, you also have this very cool swimsuit machine that dries your clothes very intensely and very quickly. And here is the indoor pool. I found out the hard way that if you want to get into the pool room, you will get showered on by some nozzles that go on automatically. Anyway, let's have a look at the gym here. The gym is actually not bad at all. Quite a few machines, different weights, kettleballs, and enough machines for at least a few people to be exercising at the same time, which can't be said for many gyms in Japan. And of course, if you grab the right machine, once again, you will be staring at the beautiful Osaka Castle. And if you thought that was impressive, then the view from the bar and the restaurant is absolutely breathtaking. What a majestic view to have while you stuff your face with all the delicious Western and Japanese items that you can have at this amazing breakfast. Now I do have to say that somehow the presentation didn't make it seem that bountiful. But this breakfast is really good. There were so many warm and special local dishes. It really made a difference. This is all the cold stuff. But what was really interesting is being able to have kushikatsu, fried fish, and all kinds of other delicious things like onigiri with uh, you know salmon eggs there was even ice cream so there's something for everybody here believe me If you don't have breakfast booked, you can still get a drink or some coffee at the cafe opposite the lobby. They also had some snacks here and some souvenirs. I hope that this video helps you decide whether this hotel is for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next review. See you then.